What were the cultural practices or traditions that surprised you? We'll start with you. You know about circumcision, so that's a big thing here. You know, and as you guys know, jam tours were circumcised in Kenya. <laughs> Right, so that's a very secret thing, family. So, you know, that's the reason why I know I should be here. <laughs> the things that happen in your life, family, it's just, um, so those are some of the things, family, you know, that you can come here and start in. your life. If you can't get no woman pregnant over there, you surely get some pregnant over here. Yeah, because very, very, fertile. very fertile. <laughs> very fertile. Yeah, so one joke. Pick the okay, so the <laughs> what do you think Jamaicans can learn from Kenyans and vice versa? Some African country, yeah, the police yeah, stop yeah, you, yeah. hustle you yeah. when you're a foreigner. Mm -hmm. like, literally, like, demand the money from you. Mm -hmm. But Kenya, when the police stop you, just, well, go on Jamaica, and you just reason about it. I see you're, you're a brother. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to the motherland. Or welcome yeah, back yeah. home. Yo, that me feel good when a policeman stop me from the road and see yo, mm -hmm. you have a driver's license. And by the time we tell him, see we are Jamaican. <laughs> in that, in the wants to see license again. <laughs> see yo, welcome back home, man. Shake yeah. off wheel and all these things. So I regulate yeah. that, man. Them, 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 them peaceful. Um. We're going straight to the very first question. So greetings, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My Bless name is up. African Tigress. And today I'm honored to be having some Jamaican food here and hanging out with some Jamaicans here in Kenya. Mm. So we're going to be having a very deep conversation about, you know, relocation and all that. One of the things that I love is to see uh, people succeed if they move to foreign countries like, you know, you go where you feel you're going to get more opportunities or where you get more fulfillment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the first question is, what inspired you to move from Jamaica to Kenya? All right. Well, as you guys know, in Jamaica, in the music, all over the music, we've been talking about back to Africa. Kalangola. Mm. I'm a mommy, mama African. <laughs> Somebody yeah, like that family. So yeah, you guys man. know. Angola, you see the song. With that guy the name again, I remember him. Uh, no, no, Jabooks. Jab, yeah, Jabooks. Jabooks. Yeah, Jabooks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. So, all of them sang there. Like, we grew up on those songs. And, you know, I mean, Buju and talk about Africa, Sizzler, a lot of people. So, you know, I mean, in, it's actually in our DNA and in the, in the music and stuff, in the food and a lot of stuff. You know, we know our connection with Ghana and the food with Jamaica. It's similar and stuff like that. So, it was always, you know, um, in, in me to come back to Africa. But, you know, sometimes you actually. You don't know what you're doing and how it happened to you. But you know, say, yo, when, when, when you actually reach a destination, you start looking to yourself and say, yo, I guess I'm really supposed to do. But okay. you just never realize it. So, you know, while I was in Jamaica, I was a pandemic and I was like, you know, Jamaica is small and they have no movement. Mm -hmm. So by, you know, I mean, five mm -hmm. o'clock in the morning to two, mm -hmm. and then after that, you can't move going away. Till yeah, the next morning know. again. So it's Some crazy. 24 hour, no yeah, movement. Lockdown and stuff. So, yeah, full work with you that. know, in Jamaica, you know, you can just drive out Jamaica in a, maybe a day. So it's very small. No, you can't do that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You can't do that either. In a day? Mm-hmm. Uh, whenever. Wherever. But Jamaica's it, small, but not so small. <laughs> but as me I said, it's small. You, you know what I mean? You can? Mm -hmm. No, you can't. You can, you can drive the whole of Jamaica in one day. In one day? Yeah. No, no. You can't drive the four parts of Jamaica in one day. That's, that's, that's parish to parish going around. No, we say like that. circumference. So, you yes. can. Yeah, of course. No, yeah, you yeah, can't. You can't. I mean, you can't, Ricardo. Come on, you man. One from, day. from Kingston to Montego Bay, which is Negro, is the, with the, which is the, the, the point. It's just like maybe two hours. You know what I mean? Maybe. Maybe the yeah. highways too. Yeah, family. So, so as me I said. It's not two hours, it's four hours. No, man. From Negro. Too far. To Kingston. To Kingston? Yeah, two hours. Yeah, I'm telling Whoa, you. Oh, are you a Jamaican? Right. I'm a Jamaican. You're telling me from Negril to Kingston four hours? No, no, from Negril to Kingston. With all those big highways. Uh, with the highway, it might be three, two, three hours. Even without we the... Without the highway, it's normally like uh, six hours. No, six? Man, no. Oh my goodness. You know... Uh, from Otrius to... to uh, from Otrius to Negril is how many hours? Just check from Otrius to Negril. No, that's like 45 minutes, like an hour. No, 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 it's not no, 45. No, it's, it's not 45 from... It can be four. That one is done. That can be four hours where? or three hours. Four, from three where? Hours from, three, from to, to Negril. 
Oh, Three hours. Well, yeah. all right. Looking at that, that's another little point. Because it's notorious to to Montego Bay is gonna be like Two an hours, hour, no, an hour hours. and some minutes, so, yeah, and yeah, then from minutes, yeah. Montego Bay to New Grill, an hour and some minutes. All right, family. <laughs> no, so Jamaicans so, so. are not thing. Oliver Jamaica, comment down below. Yes, at this point, I'm not Jamaican. No, but you're wrong. You're wrong. You can't drive about all Jamaica. Look into it. Okay, let's let's settle this. We'll find it in the comments. In the comments, we'll find it out. Can you drive the whole of Jamaica, the circumference in one, one day. day. Yes, you right can. Right round Jamaica. All right, let me know that the in the comment box, family. So, you right can. now, as me I say, <laughs> me I tell me story, I mean, I want it too long. Because, you know, jump to a story long. Yeah. So that's why I make it <laughs> short, and spicy. short and spicy. So, yeah. okay. So, we're there now, Jamaica, <clears throat> pandemic time, and me I look at me and say, oh, Jamaica. You because, know, you know, recently start traveling, you know, when you start traveling, you get excited. Because, uh -huh. first yeah. start traveling to Trinidad, I've mean, uh -huh. never been nowhere else. So now my business at work and I boom I say, I have to go somewhere else right now. Because mm -hmm. right now, I want to lift up out of the Caribbean. <laughs> because one of the Caribbean is small and locked up. Yeah. So I look at me and say, eh? You know, they have a Jamaican passport, they can't go to the US, they can't go, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, you, you, a whole place they can't go to the Jamaican but passport. But place where you live, I say, Africa is the only place. No, man, you have more places. So we go so boom. A place where me like, you when know you what I like, mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Place, yeah. yeah. So yeah. because like. so boom, I'm just a boom. I say Ghana. I look, I watch me and say, yo, I watch videos in Ghana and stuff. And I say, all right, a Ghana, me are going on. So, so just... that brings us to the next question: How did you prepare for the move, especially considering? I, and I think I would think like at the back of your mind, you had you would think like maybe there's different cultural, you know, there will be some difference in culture. Yeah, and as well as their geographical differences. I mean, the weather and all that. So how did you prepare to move? All right, so for me, my situation was different, family. It was, I was a get up and I say I want to go to Ghana like that. It was a situation that I'm in. So I was going through like a divorce thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that was the last phase of my life um, mm -hmm. was, that I need to actually um, master was the relationship, how to find a good wife and things like that. So mm -hmm. I make a wrong choice mm -hmm. and I have to actually, this uh, situation to separate I have to actually figure out how to get out of that situation. So, based on my plan, I just I say I want to go to Ghana and mm -hmm. to separate from that situation. So that's how I end up in Ghana family. Um, yeah. So when I reach Ghana now, I say yo, first thing I work on is getting my residency, and then we say all right, get my driver's license, my international permit and stuff. So the plan was to actually go to Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. So the plan was to go to Ethiopia, and then um, I end up in a Kenya family. And, Everything. So, well, but my plan, I'm in Kenya, so we just stay in Kenya. <laughs> yeah, so did you plan to go get a wife in Ghana? Uh, well, it's my first, well, that's the thing. Yeah, that was the plan. But I realized that, that you know, I mean, me and the females, them, they're not gel, like how I want. Mm -hmm. So I say, all right, that, that's the fears of my life. Now I start understand female nature. I start understand, uh -huh. you know, as a man, what you need to do, what you need, all of these things. Mm -hmm. You start to understand the family structure and how to actually, you know. So at that point, now I start to like <laughs> figure out what I want. I know what I want in a woman. So yeah. um, that kind of gauge me to say, all right, let me come to Ethiopia so we can find a wife. And you know what I mean? And that's how we turn up family. End up in Kenya, find everything in Kenya. So me there. What were your biggest concerns while relocating? That one, both of you are going to answer it. What were your biggest concerns? About relocating? Yeah. To where? To Kenya? To okay, to Africa, because you both just came. You you went everywhere, and then eventually you found. You know, for me, we never have we never have a concern. No, my big concern about well, the whole concern is my son, because I have a son in Jamaica. So, shout out to Kaim Ricard Griffiths. Uh -huh. You understand? So, shout out to Kaim. He's eight year old year old right now, mm -hmm. born September the twenty fifth. Yeah. You understand? So, I'm a star of that. But he was the only concern I have, and like my brother, brothers, and my father. In Jamaica, I'm saying, yo, I don't want to leave, come here, and leave them behind, and anything can happen. But it's not like me run away, cause I can travel, go back to Jamaica whenever I want. It's because I'm here doing some business. You understand the hustling and making it work. Okay, there's a yard man with half a push, and Jamaica is not lazy. Uh -huh. Anywhere we go in the world, we try to make it happen. You see it. So, we never have a concern more than them. Coming okay. here is, is, is a normal thing. It's like I'm in Jamaica the same way. Okay. So nothing that surprised me more. And the only thing surprised me that much is like calling sister Dada. Oh. <laughs> call, normally Dada in Jamaica, we call a man Dada. Or oh, brother, you know, Dada. Oh, oh, so we call a okay. brother Dada, but here we call it the females Dada. Yeah. And call him brothers Kaka. Kaka, yeah. Kaka, 
is is a woman bottom, big bottom. It's like you know, <laughs> it's like you know, or you cock up, yeah, man. I see him, so yeah, man. It's like an African tiger, cock up. I saw a call, man. <laughs> but here in East Africa, we are calling the, the, the males them kaka, kaka yeah. and we are calling the, the females them dada. dada. Yo, it take me a while. It take me a long while to get used to that. Cause I couldn't get used to it. But I always make mistake. Uh-huh. Yeah, man. And culture shock. There's a few more stuff, but remember me telling still because too much thing for my head right now. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, your family. So for me, um, as I said, me in my situation, and me I say, yo, John, I forget to get the situation. So me have a plan. So, you know what I mean? For me, it was like, I, I, as I said, I find myself saying peace and love African family. So for me, it was very intentional. It was for me to come back and start a family, do this, do that. So for me, I just feel like seven brothers, seven different minds. And um, I just want to do my own thing and create my own thing. Because what I don't like with Jamaica is that you only can attach to slavery. But at least when you come to Africa, you connect with a tribe and you, you, you get into a tribe. Now you can say your kids was from this lineage, that lineage. In Jamaica, you can't say nothing. So that was my thing. I just want to break away from that. I have mm-hmm. something to connect to. I can say, hey, my kids are from the same tribe with the founding father of Kenya. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, Kenya. Back, back I can say roots. that. Back to your roots. But we can't say that. When we're in Jamaica, we can't say nothing. I may have yeah. to say that slavery. Yeah, but last so, year. And you don't even know your fourth slavery. parents, the fifth parents, and nothing. So it's crazy. You can guys. do DNA. I don't believe in those things. But anyways, guys, for me, it was, I, I, just, I didn't want to be in Africa, and I, that's just me. <laughs> okay, did you have to go through any legal or administrative processes like visas and permits? Yeah, well, um, yeah, well, we are in Kenya. Yeah, let's talk about Kenya because you're staying in Kenya. So did you have to go through any legal and administrative processes like visas and all that? Yeah, as you know, when you come in the country as a foreigner family, you get like six months. Like, like you, know, you get three months, and then you have to, and then you have to actually extend mm-hmm. to six months, and then you can travel and come back and stuff. So for me, I came, um, you know, I think the seventh of July I came, and then I actually, um, you know, what I mean, <clears throat> I was here, and then actually in October I find my, my wife, and then um, you know we went to Ghana January. My wife was very excited to go to Ghana. And when she go and see Ghana, she has to say, yo, Jano, I like Ghana, I like ambience and everything, like liveliness and stuff. But mm-hmm. she has to say, oh, she really prefer to live in Kenya. So, because mm-hmm. actually when we went to Ghana, we actually went to live. Oh. And, uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> I was have everything in Ghana, my youth. Well, I have my land in Ghana, I have mm-hmm. my apartment and everything ready. So mm-hmm. we went there to live and stuff. And then, you know, we went there, she get pregnant and she has to say, yo, you know what I mean? Kenya is more, you know, developing mm-hmm. a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So... We choose to come back a Kenya family. I know, you know, when we come back, we start plan. Oh, we got to do this. I know, jump towards a plan out everything, family, and thing like that. So, you know, we get married, and so it's our process getting married. So, if you guys getting married, mm-hmm. I don't know, I'm a divorcee, so you know, say, <laughs> <laughs> you know, say my thing already now. A lot of documents and all kind of thing, mm-hmm. family. So I have to be FedExing stuff back and forth, and having attorney affidavit um, mm-hmm. notarized this send back to Jamaica to complete the process to divorce before you can marry the Aransta family. It's called Certificate of non impediment Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a local that. marriage, not a Christian marriage. So yeah, we don't yeah. go through all of that. Yeah, family. So, you know, you know we're coming at the place we do a traditional wedding and then we do a white wedding after. Uh-huh. Babylon wedding mm-hmm. and thing. <laughs> <laughs> if, I mean, if it was for like, you know what I mean, I wouldn't be doing no, a Babylon wedding family. But... Mm-hmm. So the thing set. So we do that and we there. We there with our citizen, we there with our passport. And um mm-hmm. when I think I'm gonna until we get my passport, then we can mm-hmm. you know what I mean, roam around East Africa and mm-hmm. say we can do some business and you know what I mean and stuff like that. So we there. <coughs> For your passport to And guys, and let me tell you guys something, guys. I don't know, Jam Tours have a business here called Jam Tours Africa where we help diaspora to get set up and settle. So if you have a visa issue. Um, you know, I connected with the attorney immigration who actually uh, expedite this process. Uh, we have a lot of people who actually use the system and actually do their application. It's stuck in the system. Link up with Jam Tours, you can get it fast track uh, for you to get your permit so you can go about your business. Next yeah, question. Man. Yeah, man. <coughs> the answer by the oh, go, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. The answer by the already. It's an interview upstairs. Ask me the same question, right? Yes. Yeah, I... let me give you an answer. 
Yes. Um, so that will be the lot of anyways. <laughs> okay. 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 So, what were your first impressions when you got to Kenya? What were your first impressions of Kenya? Well, um, as I said, you know, when I when I land, you know, what I mean, I feel so at home. And I like the place. So it was like in those time, it was like the winter time in July. Mm -hmm. The place was very cold, you know. Coming from at Ghana, it's like it was a nice feeling. You know, like, summer, summer, <laughs> yeah. summer, summer. In a Ghana, at, you know, man. Man. so coming to Kenya it was like very refreshing. I feel very nice. I feel like cool, you know. I feel like I love this weather. Be so, there in yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, when I come to Nairobi, and I, you know, as you know, I was in Nairobi and stuff, and the place was very developed and nice. I love it. And as you know, um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Africa is like my first country outside of the Caribbean. So it was like very, very nice to see that I can live in Africa and living even better than when I'm in Jamaica for less money. Do you know what I mean? I used to live in, mm -hmm. Rich, in Richmond Estate and, you know, the rent was like 1500 US a month. And it's, uh, you know what I mean? And when I go to this, the market, I know Jam Tours, them time, Jam Tours was big and eating fruits and stuff back in Jamaica. I go into the market and I have to be paying like 25000 for fruits and all kind of things. So it was, you know what I mean? So challenge. coming to Kenya, you know, I see I can live. No, because of all of this experience, you know, my money gone down. So, <laughs> Jah just put me in a place so I can sustain and cheaper. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We can yeah, survive. Yeah, yeah. But so, Jamaica, we know how to survive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so, so yeah. that is it, family. So and, that. Okay, okay, go ahead. Yeah, so that was like shocking to me to see that I can live such quality life, better life than Jamaica, and you know, what I mean, and cheaper. It's just, uh, it's, just it's just cheaper for me. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Just cheaper. Life, life, lifestyle over here is cheaper. Way cheaper. As I was jam tourist in Richmond Estate to pay fifteen hundred US per month. Uh -huh. I wasn't paying that much per month though, you know. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't living in Richmond Estate. <laughs> well, what you stay? I was staying in Ocho Estate, but it's in Canton Garden. Uh, okay. Canton Garden, yeah. Uh -huh. So I was paying a, 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 a nice for my apartment because you have expensive apartments in Jamaica. Uh -huh. and you have places. Like apartment complex of your own everything. Yeah. yeah just like over here. No but no no but waiting about the Ricardo. Over here you can get a decent apartment for like mm -hmm. fifteen thousand. In Jamaica, you have yeah. to pay for the same price all forty five thousand for In Jamaica, apartment. Jamaica is expensive. Very, yeah, very expensive. Like three or four times. Yeah, yes, mm -hmm. when I say it's never pay, I wasn't paying fifteen hundred US. Yeah. You understand? I don't I think I pay like two hundred and fifty US per month mm -hmm. for my apartment. What bedroom apartment still, you know? Uh -huh. But where Rami should sleep is a very, very <laughs> new. Camera's I mean I've made up yeah. my wife from Trinidad and, you know, I mean, yeah, like family thing. <laughs> And this time, yeah. I'm telling you, which party live? A rich man places. <laughs> a rich so, man places. So guys, so you know, you know the thing, guys. So I build jam tours, I build back right now. Mm -hmm. But life is like that. You have to go down to come up, and when you yeah, come man. up back, you have to stay away. Sometimes we take a step back <laughs> before you can put two foot forward again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man, just say, you know what I'm saying? It's just cheaper over here for me. The fruits and everything, I get more variety of fruits in Jamaica uh -huh. than I can get here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Jamaica have a lot more fruits. Mm -hmm. And food, just like one example, aki and saltfish. Aki, I can't eat aki. Yeah, we don't have aki here. Yeah, see, yeah, you have nesberry. I got nesberry one time since I've been here. What's nesberry? It's like the fruit. I'll show you. I know, <laughs> yeah. it, I know it. I remember somebody showed me in Jamaica. Uh, for, yes, mm -hmm. but I forgot it. Is yeah, salt John plum, no? No, no, it's no, brown. No, it's very brown. Oh, it's brown. I know it. And, and I know it's it. brown and kind of roughish. It has a I know no, it's in rough. In rough. I, I it's like think, a sandpaper. The skin. Yeah, sandpaper. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 soft. Yeah, I think I know it. Somebody it's sweet, showed it's it sunny, in Tobago but nice. and they call it a different name. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, and we have the Sorrel of Jamaica. You know, turns on it. We I have mean, sorrel here. here. Yeah, man, you guys have no. Man, actually, you guys have hibiscus. We have I, sorrel. Hibiscus and sorrel are the same thing. Well, well, it depends no, on where no, you're buying. <clears throat> and I see them. So that's a lot. That's, that's the thing with the Americans. I'll show you where to get it. I'm telling you. I'll show you where to get it. Where are you getting it from? I get in this mar the market, the Which supermarket, market? No, Parkland, about the supermarket. The Parkland market, the supermarket here. Okay, I'll Carrefour. send you where you can get it. Sorry. Yes, I'll send no, you. You where guys you... don't have no sorry here. One hundred percent sure you guys have yeah, ibiscus. Let me take this call family. One love, match that up. Yeah, man. <laughs> so ibiscus and sorry are like two different thing. I know that. Is, this, is that the same? Like the same cousin? You have bread, you have grapefruit, mm -hmm. and you have orange. Yeah. But ibiscus and sorry. We be, taste the same, but the sorrel have a richer taste. Okay. But here we just call it sorrel. It doesn't matter. Okay, like different fruits. if you're watching this and you're from Kenya, let me know. Do we have sorrel? Because I think we do. Kenyans don't know sorrel. <laughs> <laughs> we know I discuss it. <laughs> so I remember I, I, I ran a restaurant here and when I said sorrel, they asked what is sorrel. <laughs> so they use the word I discuss. Okay. Know? 
it might be different names, but I think mm -hmm. it's the same thing. But anyway, we'll find that. I know we have so many people watching, so we'll get that. Yeah, man, you'll get the answer for real, for so, real. So jump in the comment section and tell me if you can find <laughs> sarrel or if sarrel or hibiscus is the same. Because hibiscus is a Jamaican national flower. Uh-huh. Right? All right. Because it's a Jamaican now, so you better make, you better make sure because really? test you. You say you're Jamaican now, so let's see. Hibiscus um, is Jamaican national flower, I think. And... Is there a flower plant? Yeah, Linda Vite is a Jamaican national tree. The hibiscus is a Jamaican national flower. Saril and hibiscus can drink the same, but saril is smaller. The fruit is smaller. The hibiscus is a flowers, a flower itself. Yeah. But the saril is not. The saril is short like this. Okay, we're gonna and find red, that. Red, 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 red. The saril, the hibiscus have a, a tongue, a thing like a tongue out of it. Where bees go and get their yeah, yeah, thing yeah. from. The, I, the sorrel doesn't have that. Oh, really? The sorrel have black seed. The hibiscus doesn't come with seed. That I know of. So, but it's still you. They dry the hibiscus. They all taste the same anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's the same. To me. According to me. <laughs> but the sorrel is stronger. The sorrel hibiscus is strong. It tastes the same, same. But the sorrel is stronger. It gives a stronger shade of red. Mm -hmm. And it's very strong. You can taste it. But... Anyways, a lot of trees are in Jamaica that's not here. Okay. Um, go ahead. So, how does uh, Kenya compare to Jamaica when it comes to the environment? I don't know. Kenya is green. I think Kenya is the greenest city in the world. No, I don't think so. That's lovely. I think so. I think so. It's so. good that you have different opinions. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. so, I just think that Kenya is the greenest city. I don't see nowhere else you can go and breathe some fresh air. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. Let me know in the comments box if you know any other city that's greener than this. And Jamaica, every Jamaica other city, green still no. Every other city what is, is city? actually concrete jungle and polluted. You can't see the blue sky. No skies. man. In, like if you try other African country, Rwanda, you can try Tanzania. Tanzania green too, you know. Okay, so now let's say Kenya when it but, comes but to the talk about population. Let's now let's not compare it. Just <coughs> Kenya and Jamaica in and Jamaica? terms of environment. How does it compare? Yo, I'll be honest with you, you know. Oh, four years now, I got Jamaica, you know. So, we can't tell you how oh, Jamaica is still now, but we can't tell you how oh, you still before. Okay. Yeah, Jamaica and Kenya is like the same mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. It's like the same. In development, when they come out to apartments, there's more here yeah. in Kenya. I remember Kenya is bigger than Jamaica. Yeah. Far bigger. Way, 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 way bigger. bigger yeah. Yeah. Even yeah. Nairobi itself, I think. No, yeah, it's way bigger. Nairobi yeah. 6 million people. Like, Jamaica is like 3 million. Two. So. 3 million. Two? Two. <laughs> two? <laughs> she yes. said it's two. <laughs> and they say in Jamaica, like that. the birth rate is going down, Ricardo. Yeah, but they say, they say they see a amount of people that's in Jamaica is the same amount of people outside of Jamaica. Well, that's yeah. true. Yeah, that's yeah, true. That's yeah true. because that's a lot of Jamaicans So if it's two, it's yeah. like, it's like yeah. four million. It's not two, it's, a, it's, it's, it's sure it's not three? No, it's two point something. When was the last time? Yo, I've been hearing okay, that since like 2022. The last, the last time I checked the stats, that's what, it could be three. Two, three, not so much big difference. Since 2000. And ten are less than that. I'm mean, hearing they say it's two point something million. Yeah. They tell me that till now. No, I'm not just saying same? exactly two. I know it, like it's two point something. Okay, okay. Yeah, not exactly two. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. So it could be that she she yeah. could be right. Yes. I mean, in the past three million for sure. So between two to three. Yeah, but you know, as I said, Jamaica and Kenya is same similar to me. It's just that more buildings, more apartment building is here. Yeah. Jamaica you have more standalone. Like, you know, it's a big mansion in Jamaica. I think it's a hotel or a motel, mm -hmm. but it's actually someone's house. Yeah. We, our land, we don't, Jamaica don't like, Ramesh can't tell you. We do not like small, small houses, mm -hmm. like what you see here. Jamaica, you have a big piece of land like this, an acre of land, and only have two apartments on it. We also don't like small, small houses. It's the because Chinese, we, are, we are many people. Here. No, we are many people. We are so no, many man. people. They that's can utilize why. the space, man. They can utilize the land no, space. No, we are so many people. And uh, I feel like the infrastructure, <clears throat> like the roads, mm -hmm. are not like really... Uh, we don't have like fast trains that would allow somebody to live in Nakuru mm -hmm. and work in Nairobi. Yes. So true. because of that, everybody wants to be close to in the Nairobi. city center. So mm -hmm. how are you going to do that? The only way you can grow mm -hmm. is vertical. Yes. Build buildings. To go high but the apartments and make them small. small and host very many people. No, that's great, Carl. Yeah, you see one apartment <laughs> with 30 million, 10 million, and 5 million. Like, 
But apartments and land generally still cheaper here than Jamaica because I've done that. Research. Yeah, yeah, man, we know that. Cheap, like. We know that. As <laughs> I said, man. I never heard it. Now. Viewers, I never heard it. I said that Jamaica is very expensive. There's nothing in Kenya. Imagine, in fact, guys, in Jamaica that's cheaper you, than Kenya. I have a lot of people link me up on Jam Tours Africa that come saying, oh, they're coming here. I have not Jamaican oh, friends oh, who buy apartment people. over there in Nairo in Westlands. And, you know, buy apartment because why? It's very cheaper. As a business owner and entrepreneur <laughs> in Jamaica, it's like you stifle when you reach a certain plateau. So you need to actually reach like more people. And I was saying mm-hmm. to my Jamaican uh, entrepreneurs that Africa is a place that you can come and feel at home. You know, I have no racist, um, you know, you know, trying to actually blackball you out of business deals mm-hmm. and stuff. So if you have your money, you actually bring it to Africa. You. you know what I mean? There's so much, even where I live, you know, my estate is owned by a local. Like, everything. All of these big things where you feel like the mall. far-fetched. Mm-hmm. Even Mars is owned Hotels. by locals. So I went to a Bantu hotel. We yeah, yeah. went to Mount Kenya. Yeah, man. Hotel so all of these things, local. family. You guys know that. You know what I mean? So if you have your money in Jamaica, come to Africa and invest. invest. It, Spread and your money. That's the thing with people who are investing. They like to put all of their money in one place. They're not smart when they come out to invest in. Because if you put all the money in one bank, it crashes, it crash, you're gone. You're gone. <laughs> so it's the same thing. You put all the money in one place, one country or one area, community. When mm-hmm. it crashes, your money burns. Yeah. So spread your money if you can. And if you don't want to do it, you can keep it and do whatever you want to do with yours. Yours money. Mm-hmm. You understand? But as a jump to say, you can come here, invest. You can go anywhere else in Africa. African Tigress is here. She's traveling, digital nomad. So she can show you guys where to invest, what it's like. You can mm-hmm. help them with that. Showing the country, the city, and as you whatever. can also go invest in Jamaica. And for those guys, <laughs> yes, because you know, Jamaica is a land of opportunity, also. Yeah, you oh, see, yeah. I know a lot, I know people that actually want to go other places in the world and they go to Jamaica to get the opportunity to go there because leaving from Jamaica or being in Jamaica, you mm-hmm. connect with people all over the world. Yeah, since I'm in Africa, the top people I know here they have someone that connect to in Jamaica. You understand? So they, they are already doing their research so they can invest, but. If I don't have the money to invest there now, mm-hmm. like to buy a piece of plot on the beach or mm-hmm. everyone dreams to want to own a dream house yeah. or a beach house. So it's easier to own something here. It's the mm-hmm. same thing. The only difference is the culture. Mm-hmm. Yes, I own a beach house here, all right? Yeah, family. <laughs> okay. So, you know, I mean, this is a chance for you to create generational wealth. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I mean, so mm-hmm. if you bring your money back here and you start a family or whatever you bring here now, everything that you own here will go back. You know what I mean? To them and not just to some other people. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And yes. the next question, what were the cultural practices or traditions that surprised you? We'll start with you. Uh, well, there's so much that really, you know, surprised because as in I'm a biblical person. So, you know, I think like, uh, you know, when I started like research and like do my little thing, you know, trying to find my way and try to, you know, I mean, so, you know, guys, I'm into the Kikuyu tribe. So that's, I encourage anybody to come. You just find a tribe. And if you rock with that tribe, you know, I mean, you try to know more about the, um, the history and culture. And as you know, jam tours, we always try to go back to nature, God way. And how our ancestors used to do things and not just doing it where some other people just come and create some things and give you. So when I came, mm-hmm. I tried to, like, find out, like, religion. And as you know, um, you know, I mean, like, you know, as you know, we know a little bit about the Bible in Jamaica. So, um, you know about circumcision, so that's a big thing here, you know, and as you guys know, jam tours were circumcised in Kenya. <laughs> 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 you know, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> so. Is it? Right, so that's a very secret thing, family, so, you know, that's the reason why I know I should be here. <laughs> the things that happen in your life, family, it's just, um, so, those are some of the things, family, you know, that. Um, you know, like, <coughs> made me so attached to Kenya, guys. Uh-huh. And, you know, and in my tribe, you know, they talk about the sycamore tree, the fig tree, and these things. So the story about those things kind of, like, connect back with me. And um, Mount mm-hmm. Kenya and stuff. Um, so all these historical history things, these are things I look for in a country. And that's the reason why I'm really connected with Kenya. And, you know, Jamaicans, we feel like the Ark of the Covenant is up in Mount Kenya. All of these things we actually, you know what I mean, sing about and talk about in music and stuff like that. You know, even Bob Marley say, they live up in Mount Zion and rule over creation. You know, them all say Mount Kenya is Mount Zion and stuff. So all of these things, you know, True. let me actually connect with Kenya <clears throat> and start to realize a little bit more about history that can guide me through this life. 
and any what was, cultural, what was, what was, what was question I asked? any cultural practices that mm -hmm. surprised you? No, you know. Really, you know, I'm jumping really a lot of them still the same. I'm just saying, get circumcised or something. <laughs> In Jamaica, we say with navel string cut and uh... <laughs> Yeah, man, yeah, man. You know, yeah, yeah, man, look how you have to surprise me still. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. when I come here, I already know that the women, the females are more submissive. Than in the West. Yeah, that's another that. that's another culture shock for me too. Yeah. Like the woman is more wifey and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. So they're you know, easy more to respectful. get along with and they're respectful. Yeah. You know what I mean? So even if you're like not so much of a tough guy in the West, when you come here, you can just be normal with a woman. In the West, yeah, you have to pretend. Yeah, in the yeah, West, you have, have, have to lie, pretend so to much. You have to be like put on a front, <laughs> like you have to act rich. You have Bro, to... <laughs> some a two my top. Yo, you have to be right, 100% right. You know what I mean? But yes, you cannot be yourself, family. You don't have to like do much. You yeah. know, the females yeah. there, you know what I mean? It's just easy and to get along with. It's not with. everyone mind toxic. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your money, you know. easy to go with. As I say, easy to get along with. You mm -hmm. can vibe with. More homely. You know what I mean? When you see you want a, um, a, a housewife, you actually can't get a housewife and she's a go-get at the same time. Mm -hmm. You just treat a woman with respect and, and treat her like a royal queen. And she treat her like a royal king. Okay. But culture shock, different from them say, Say it, say it. Yeah, say it. The food. <laughs> oh, the food. Oh, yeah, you know, the food. The food, the food is not the same, you know? Yeah. You know, sorry. Sorry, people don't bash no, me. No, don't I, me, know, you know. I know. I even know what you're about to say, and it's true. <clears throat> Listen, I'm not going to say it then. Even no, you, you, you have a video, you have a video where you even sit there and that say to the people in that. Say it. People in East Africa actually cook for belly full, not for flavor. Okay, you know, our food is uh, more flavorful. Mm -hmm. like, wrong am I right? Can you go to Jamaica? You know? I know. Tell uh, the people. Uh, no, look at the camera. Tell the people. But, but it's the truth. Our food <coughs> is kind of bland. But you mm. know what? It is. It is. I Before I traveled and tasted other foods, mm -hmm. I always felt like we have the best food mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. I know like in your homes and some Kenyans would say like, oh, oh, if you just don't flavor your food, doesn't mean all of us don't. But generally, even when Trust you go me, to generally. a restaurant and you order yeah. the food, our <coughs> food is kind of bland. But no, you know, kind of, yeah, it's, it's kind of bland. Thanks yeah, for your food is bland, but over here it's kind of bland. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Like, I still love our bland food. I yeah, still... <laughs> me, me, me eat it. You know, I yeah, me enjoy yeah. it all the time, but I do eat it. I, you know why? Because it, 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 cook, it cook, um with less seasoning. Yeah. Not too much salt. You can add your own salt so everyone can eat it. You know, some places, not everyone can eat the food because they might have high blood pressure oh, or might have diabetes, pepper, too much sweet. Yeah, but the food here, you can adjust it the way you want it. So and that's I love a good that. thing. Yeah, that's a good so thing. Our food that's, is like that's, a, that's a thing. You add whatever you want. Yeah, that's a good thing. With Kenya, family. With Kenya, all of the spices and stuff, most of the spices and stuff, the food are natural and organic. It's not like Jamaica mm -hmm. where we food don't imported use into Maggie. the. Yeah, no, 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 not all the food on Jamaica imported still. Like, I remember the Jamaica farm. The best tasting fruit you can get at Jamaica. Yeah, well, let's, let's just in the Caribbean it's, overall. It's seasonal anyway, so but in Kenya you get fruit that fruits fruits all year round in but the market. You know, in Jamaica, every house yeah, have an aki tree, a mango tree, something, some tree. Yes, yeah, so you don't okay, really have I, that. I, I would say this: I've tasted aki. Unfortunately, yeah. it's not everyone's favorite. I never like it. No, it's not everyone's favorite. I tasted favorite. it once, mm -hmm. and I only had like one spoon. Who cook it for you? I'm not gonna say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, that's you. Not gonna say that. Anyone who cook aki, yeah, watch this. You know, that's good. Like I just tasted. Okay, I think I had what I thought it would taste like. Mm -hmm. It was just the texture was just not it for me. It's just too soft. Yeah, it's too soft for for my. Someone might cook the aki wrong for her, but the, on the other hand. So, like dumpling, Kenyans don't like fried dumpling. Oh my goodness, dumpling. I, can't, I can't do dumpling as See? well. See, <laughs> it's a Kenyan thing. We don't want to eat aki. We don't, we don't want dumplings. It's too heavy. Heavy? Yes. Someone, it's, someone it's that could the wrong heavy. food for you, man. It's heavy. Dumpling is so heavy <laughs> than ugali. Dumpling? Yes, dumpling is so heavy than dumpling? ugali. Yes. You make it with the caramel with the flour, like the white yellow maize and the flour. All that. I've tasted the the best dumpling in Jamaica. And the best dumpling in Jamaica ever tasted from me. Yeah. So we taste it from. She never tasted dumpling from you, me. You, so can't be the best. I tasted it from Cola Smith TV. You know him. Mm. He makes the best dumpling in Jamaica. Boiled dumpling. 
Yeah? Yes. Boil. Yes. He can't make the best dumpling in Jamaica. He mm. makes the best dumpling. Big up, big up to Colors Me TV, but you don't make the <laughs> best dumpling in Jamaica, bro. He makes the, the best dumpling in Jamaica. Do you know how many people fly, fly from all over the world to taste that dumpling? I put this dumpling on myself. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go. You have to my dumpling, the best yeah, dumpling, my, my, but you have other people in Jamaica my, my that don't want camera. With, my problem with dumpling mm -hmm. is it's heavy. It's like. It's flour, like it's heavy. It, it, all right, it's that's, not supposed that, to be heavy. Thing. It's supposed like, to be needed flour. Yes, it is. Salt. Yeah. And, and caramel. Yes, and it's heavy. Not too much caramel. If I put too much caramel, it's going to be heavy. Like generally, yeah. I think maybe what I can take as heavy versus what you think is heavy mm -hmm. is different. So maybe, maybe. yeah, I've tasted dumplings. It's not, chewy for you I've too. even had it in different places, like mm -hmm. in different <clears throat> countries in the Caribbean, they mm -hmm. have dumpling. Mm -hmm. Or even when you order some soup, you find dumpling. dumpling in it. Yeah, yeah. Oh God, I hate biting and I find it dumpling. Hey, Jamaica, we love it. <laughs> Yo, we love a dumpling in our soup. <laughs> to be honest, you know, we love dumpling in our soup. If I cook a, if I cook a soup, we are Jamaican, man. Yeah. We know dumpling, we vex. I know all that. I know that. I know that. I know that. So I always pick everything and leave the dumpling. Yeah, because yeah. I'm going to say, it's not everyone's favorite. Because Kenyans, like, you guys don't like dumplings, as I said. Yeah. Aki. Mm -hmm. Bun, Jamaican bun, cheese, it? sweet bun with the raisin in it. Uh -huh. I know you guys don't fancy this stuff. It's a different thing. Let me go cover up this thing. Yeah, let's cover it. Mm -hmm. It's a different type of food. Uh -huh. Our food cook different from where you guys cook. Cause we are more from the West. You understand? So mm -hmm. our spices is more like from Nigeria, yeah, Ghana. That's, true. That's why you use Gambia. so much Maggi. And no, we don't always use so Maggi. Ah, uh, we don't always use Maggi. Every lot of Jamaicans love the they they, they call it the good old Maggi. Maggi is Maggi has got a good flavor. I'm gonna like Maggi have a good flavor. Cause even at my restaurant, and, I used to cook Maggi. Uh -huh. And so even, even here, Africa, they even here, I cook Maggi. But, but not it's not popular food. among Kenyans. We no. don't really. Buy. No, no, you guys use bullion. The beef bullion is the same thing like Maggi. But not no so difference. many, not so many Kenyans still use that one as well. I feel like true, I told you, true, our food true. is just tomato, true. onions, <clears throat> I know. and maybe Daniel. Like, you know that. We don't do too much. We love our food as natural. You know, because I eat Yamacho, man. Yamacho have possible. nothing on it. You just sprinkle you, salt and everything. Are, are you kidding me? How are you insulting Yamacho? I didn't. I was saying, I'm agreeing with this. The food is natural. Because Yamacho man don't have no Maggi in this season. They just, see, it has natural ones. Natural season, yes. Yes. And not, not only that. salt. <laughs> <laughs> it's only salt. It's no, only salt. No. Yo, I eat Yamachoma. It's only salt. I no. season it. <laughs> no. Who cooks for you? Who cooks for you? That's, that's, that's the problem. I'll take you no, to they, where they, you can they, get real good Yamachoma. Right. Right, I'm correct myself before, I, before you guys come at me. When I said only salt, a seasoning, I'm not talking about like, like garlic, ginger. Uh -huh. Well, you guys don't use ginger in spice either. Okay, in my family we do, but not everywhere. <clears throat> but in my family we do, yeah. You're taking it from a Kenyan lady. So, the spices that we use, pimento, thyme, ginger, garlic, onion, um, spring onion we call scallion, mm -hmm. basil, like bay leaf, and rosemary, oregano. <clears throat> Jamaica mm -hmm. is a spiceful country. That is why you have the jerk chicken with the jerk seasoning. Yeah. You have different, different flavors. You come out every food have it all different unique taste in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Nothing that tastes the same. Okay. But shout out, we not, we not enjoy Ugali, but shout out to Ugali. Okay, that's the best. Yeah. That's why we run. No, that's, that's not the, the best. That's, that's why that's we, life that, Kenya. That, that's why we have <laughs> endurance. That's why we are able to <clears throat> run marathons and no one can do it like Kenyans. <laughs> uh, we still don't find a hole in the but they, she knows what she has to say. Shout out to Ugali. It's, okay. it's the people who want to have a different option of eating because you know rice is not good. Mm -hmm. Too much starch give you a big belly, fat, mm -hmm. sugar, high blood pressure. So if you work out or if you want to go more healthy, you want something because not everyone likes to eat vegetable, vegetable. I Sometimes love vegetable, people, but yeah. No, I mean people love it. Yeah, but every day some people might want something heavy yeah. like a rice or wheat, yeah. like chapati uh -huh. or something. Yeah. Some carbs. Some carbs. So you can even try ugali. Yeah. You know, ugali is good to eat with, with saucy food, not with mm -hmm. dry food. Do not do that. Mm -hmm. And do not eat ugali with milk either. <laughs> they do that, they're gonna fight. Don't come at me. Don't come at me. I don't know how them do it. That's a culture shock. That's a culture, big culture shock to me. Ugali with, with Ugali with sour milk. Yeah, oh my goodness. That's not tasty. Don't oh make me get upset. Oh, that's tasty. Oh that's not tasty. Goodness. Jump to it. 
Hell no. Oh, 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 <laughs> yo, you can never see. You can never see a Jamaican eat that. Any day Jamaican eat that, five million views. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You can have sour milk? Never. That's very tasty, especially what? if it's sour milk that's been made, made at home. Homemade yeah, sour milk. Homemade cr- oh you have a cradle. Goodness, like cool. cradle milk in Jamaica, we just dump it. Yeah, we just dump it. That's spoil. But the milk cradle, I eat it. Ugali. Ugali is like turn cow meal with a harder farm with white maize no, and you yellow maize. You know that sour milk that we have? It's, mm-hmm. We don't wait for it to go bad for us to have it. You don't just mm-hmm. get any milk that you have mm-hmm. and turn it into, wait for it to go bad for you to have it as sour milk. No, mm, there's a way you prepare be. it. It's so not, how do you prepare it? Uh, my mom knows, I don't know. You prepare it till it, it look curdle, right? <laughs> huh? It's prepared till it look curdle, like you get like thick, richy, creamy. Y- yeah, but you can't rub the ugali in it and eat it. That's what they told me. Oh, well... I don't know. You you Kenyans. You know, me. you know. <laughs> I don't know how it's prepared. You like don't know? All, all I've known is yeah. like we always have like a jar with milk, mm-hmm. so you keep adding to it and you ensure that the original one mm-hmm. doesn't run out. Oh. So if the original one runs mm-hmm. out, mm-hmm. you have to get someone who has the original one to give you and then you can start adding fresh milk to it. Really? Yes. So. Viewers and subscribers, you now I catch a Jamaican over here. You got sour milk. Not tell the truth. <laughs> okay, so the next question. Oh, oh my goodness, this is gonna be a very long. Oh yeah. <laughs> next but culture shock. Oh yeah. Actually, see, on TV, I must say, me want to see myself in a real life. One man have three wives. So oh. I'm myself in a real life. But this, there was one who had sixteen wives. <laughs> yeah, a normal thing. Yeah. So what? It, it can't be a Jamaican and do that in, but, in Jamaica, you know. But you yeah. know, you, can, stab you, up. you know, you can't really try that with the yeah. That's like our grandparents that's who the did cult, that. Or the village, yeah, when the village yeah, was like in of some it. places. <laughs> yeah. But do you think someone like me right now would be no, interested it, it in sharing? No, it can get exposed to the world. No, you know, like, okay, like, I'm <laughs> exposed to the world. But let me say, a Kenyan like me who's not exposed to the world. Yes, they are yeah. living in Kenya. You know, they are living in the city, mm-hmm. working here in the city, and all that. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you think they're gonna accept to be second, third, or fourth wives? Some of them will. The culture in like the Muslim culture. Some of them will. The Somali and Muslim culture. They will be second okay, or third let's wife. See. Okay, let's Normal Muslim, Kenyan. Muslim is not even up to twenty percent of the population. So true. So let's speak for majority. Yes, majority. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like most they will. most Kenyan will accept. They never do. They never do with we Jamaicans. No with foreign man. man. No, they, 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 foreign only, they only did with foreigners. Like. No, they never accept with one a foreign man. With two wife? Yeah, obviously. They will. Oh, okay. I feel like they will, they will more accept that <clears throat> than with the, with the locals. Like, you know. Yeah, with the locals. The ones who are going to do it are mostly doing it for material gain. It could be. Yeah, it's not easy to find like a hustler with two wives. Like, what? Like so most mm-hmm. of the ladies that are going to agree to that, mm-hmm. they are going for it for the money. True. How many how many million people is in, Ke- is in Kenya? Almost 60 million. Almost 60 million. Yeah. And like, 50 million of them is female. No, or who like, five. oh my goodness. All right, 60 that, million, but, but 40 of them is female. That's a lie. Let me tell you from the statistics, because this, listen. Is, this is one thing that the people, even some Kenyan men go around <laughs> running around for every seven. There is but they one. told me. No, that's a lie, because you can go out, you can go online yeah. and pull up the statistics. Mm-hmm. It's actually the difference. The, okay, the last the last census they did mm-hmm. were about 50 million. Mm-hmm. Was it 50 or about 50 million, 50 million. officially? Mm-hmm. And like, I'm not so sure how effective they are. Mm-hmm. But the difference was between less than 1 million. 1 million less. Yeah. So more. One, so, just, one, just one 50 only, million, right? So, so it's like 26 million. And 24. Um, 20, yeah. Yeah, like that. So oh, it's not equal. like what they tried to. It's almost equal. So it's not like they're trying to make I it. I don't believe that. Like, they just sound pretty tough. No, that's a fact because. That's woman an ex- more than man. No, that's an excuse that men try to use so that they can have multiple no, women no, and, make no, we, and make women feel like they're doing them a favor if they're dating we're them. Actually, we're actually, we're actually they, doing you guys because, a favor. Because they feel like they are like the prize. I'm just joking, people. Don't listen to me. But based on the statistic, what she's saying could be right or true. But that's what they always say. The man the the, man yes, yes, said that, not what, we. Yes, that's what men say so mm-hmm. that they can boost themselves, so that yeah. you can feel like, oh, if I don't get him, maybe we are so many women, we're going, yeah. I'm going to The reason why this brought up, because... 
and that's the culture <laughs> I shock know for Kenyan me. men run a, a lot with that, but they, there is no major difference. Mm. In, listen, fact, it's, in fact, if it was possible, it would be possible for Kenyan women to get two or three husbands. <laughs> 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 no, no, I don't work in a jam shop because Kenya man like sheer. I could get like three, you know. <laughs> no, man not like sheer overall. It's kind of selfish, you know. We like to share what they not like to share. Yeah, so it should be fair. Like if you can share, yeah, you it know, should we be can fair. also share. Yeah. It, should, it should be fair for real. If I have five wife, she can have five husband too. It, it should be, but we don't want that. Say it now, Gafin. Okay, so how long did it take you, like, in, how long did it take you to feel settled in <clears throat> Kenya? Me? Oh. Oh, yeah. me, oh. oh, him or yeah, me first? Well, I don't know, guys. Um, you know, it was kind of like easy for me because it's something I want. And uh, because I have my family here and stuff, it's kind of easy for me. I start to like mix with the locals and stuff. Um, you know, I actually got a car to move around. So it was kind of easy for me um, settling down. And if you're coming to settle down like Jam Tours, you, if, you want a jam tour, if you want a situation similar to Jam Tours, then the blueprint is just right there. On, so on how channel. many months did it take you? All right, so I came, so I, I went to Ghana, I came back in February, and then um, I get the car in, um, you know, in August, July. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? And then so get, less than a year. Less than a year, I was like, just, mm -hmm. you, know I mean? you know. And now nothing. you're married, you have two children. <clears throat> yeah, I have two you're kids, so and um, I want another, I want to be like Noah, I want a, another boy. <laughs> so I'm like, you already yeah. have two boys, right? So I want to have three boys first, and then after. Like the next one is gonna be a girl. You sure? Let's yeah. see. If the most I want me to be like Moses, like Noah, you know what I mean? Then I'll have another boy. Let's see. Yeah, man. For me, it was. Remember, I was in um, Tanzania. So, Tan yeah. so Tanzania is just like an hour flight away. Yeah. Across the border. So I was al already settled in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. So for me to get settled here is easy one too, because I do my research first. I connect with people on the ground first before I even come here. I have a lot of customers that used to fly from Kenya, come mm -hmm. to Tanzania to buy food so they can mm -hmm. bring back over for events. I got friends that come here and video and post up even on YouTube and stuff like that and tell me about Kenya. So as I said, I made the connection. So it take me like maybe a few months, less than a year as mm -hmm. a jump, like jump tourist. But for me, like three months. Yeah, I came in November mm -hmm. and by <clears throat> March, I'm settled. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I was still moving around doing stuff, hustling because when I just came here, I just come here. I was doing sauce and seasoning, like oh, selling sauce, good. selling seasoning to people oh. that already, already know me oh. from Tanzania. Mm -hmm. And I was doing pop ups mm -hmm. and I was doing private cooking class, culinary classes, oh. private culinary classes. I come mm -hmm. to your place and teach you how to cook. And if you want me to be a private chef, I will come and cook for you. So I teach you and cook for you at the same time. Mm -hmm. So you learn two in, two in one. Small packages, pa package I was charging them. So it took me less than less than six months or less than five months to get settled. So talking about mm. it, and we've talked about relationship, how is dating life in Kenya? I know you're married, so tell <coughs> us how <laughs> is dating yeah. life. I'm in I'm Kenya? I'm when I was dating, guys, I have like a ten point plan that I actually send to anybody who's interested in what I want. You know what I mean? And then oh. once you accept, that's it. You just <coughs> so you have a list of things you sent. To, oh, you want to date me, so you must fulfill. Yeah, this yeah, you must, yeah, you must they can't fulfill well, the well, it, Like it's not really like a. <laughs> You know, it's just a thing where, you know what I mean, I just find that that's what I have to create to find the person <clears> I want because I was searching and then I couldn't really find the person I want. So I just create that 10 point plan and I say I'm going to send it to anybody I'm dating and talking to or see as potential. And if they accept, we just do it. You know what I mean? But so you was, got a wife in three months. Yeah, but that was the plan. That was the secret. <laughs> as I was there, I was in... That rock there. I think uh -huh. he was around during that time. You know? I know. <laughs> so I, I was there, and I, when I was there alone, I sit down and I was saying to myself, "John, what's that? You know what I mean? You know." Then time I was listening to Kevin Samuels a lot, so he teach me a lot. I always said, "Guys, he's the one that teach me about relationship okay. and stuff." So, um, <laughs> you know, that's just me. <laughs> I learned so much from him, and I used that to create that ten point plan. And then, <clears> you know, I mean, I send it to a potential. They accept. And we start to date, and then um, everything just go fast. That sounds I, like a work uh, interview. That sounds like work interview. You don't have to work for one month. Work for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't get me like that. <laughs> so, so what about you? How's dating life in Kenya? Right, no, no, no comment, you know. Leave that comment. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> when I, put, I see me, I put my dating life out there. Even in my social media, you never see me putting a picture out or mm -hmm. 
respect my partner, yes, but I never put, brandish my life in social media because when anything to go wrong, mm -hmm. it Coach, always reflects. We will all be there, watch. People are, yes. <laughs> and you know, you can be good. You can have a good relationship and everything is perfect the way God wants it. Mm -hmm. But because of crosses social media and people who are following because you put your relationship out there, mm -hmm. you put it in the public, so the public is going to have their own opinion and comment on everything that goes on in your relationship. Mm -hmm. So if your relationship was good, it's no longer good once it's out in the public. People are going to be comment, people are going to say this, people on Vibes Cartel and see them. They're thinking that they're doing good. They try to be a better, better couple. And yes, still, every day when they post something, there's someone have something negative to say. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I get to the man, or sometimes I get to the woman and take it out of each other. <coughs> you know what I mean? So I'm in around, put my relationship out there. But dating, dating, not dating. Mm -hmm. a woman want, if a woman, if a lady says she want, how many points <coughs> plan do you have yourself? No, I'm gonna put my things dating. out. Dating, dating. <laughs> you see me? I'm gonna plan things, you know. Mm -hmm. I will jump towards though. It's not a bad idea because if I want a good man, I want a good woman. You have to know what you want and mm -hmm. go for what you want. And if someone is coming on board that's mm -hmm. not in that caliber or, you know, want it, then you move on. Why waste my time dating for five years? I don't want to get married. <laughs> it's, oh, I'm not ready for this. Yeah, 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 yeah. That. So, yeah, that's yeah. cut out everything and cut out yeah. all of these yeah. expensive yeah. dates yeah. and all kind of yeah. things. Yeah, you got pay, you got buy food for you. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and dates. And... When I say B, let's get start our child. Oh, I don't yeah, want yeah, that. Let, I'm going to spend one million already. <laughs> Let me save one million for someone else. May I give my next woman my one million? <laughs> Simply, okay. who want it, who deserve it. Me not waste on you for make you look nice mm -hmm. to a muggle with other guys or post my picture on social media so everyone else can comment. <laughs> if you're for me, you're for me. <laughs> Is it? That's how they pray. If you want to date me, you have to come good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, how have Kenyans received you as a Jamaican? Simple, like yeah, man, yeah, man. Can you receive us like crazy? Uh -huh. uh, not yet. Not, not yet. It's not finished. Yeah, yeah. Not finished. Yeah, yeah. Can yeah. you receive Jamaicans? As I said, guys, to all the Jamaicans out there who, who fear of coming to Africa, trust me. When you come to Africa, family, you've been celebrated. You've not been tolerated. <clears throat> As a Jamaican, police stop you. They tell them say you're Jamaican. They just laugh and give back your driver's license and pass. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It was there when the guys stop us. Yeah, something. Regular, yeah, regular, I said, regular, guys, regular time. You feel free. Stopped. As a Jamaican, trust me, you're king. You know. In Kenya. Some African country them hustle you. Yeah. Some African country yeah, the police yeah, stop yeah, you them yeah, hustle you yeah. when you're a foreigner. Mm -hmm. They literally like, demand the money from you. Mm -hmm. But Kenya, the police stop you just well, go on Jamaica and you know, it's reason about it. I see you're you're a brother. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to the motherland. Or welcome yeah, yeah. back home. Yo, that me feel good when a policeman stop me from the road and see yo, mm -hmm. you have a driver's license and by the time we tell him. See, we are Jamaican. <laughs> in that, anybody wants to see the again. <laughs> see, welcome back home, man. Shake yeah. off with and all these things. So I regulate yeah. that, man. Them, 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 them peaceful. Okay, and are there any other are there any other Jamaicans or Caribbean people that you've met in Kenya? <clears throat> so much and so much flying in, guys. I you know, guys, I've mm -hmm. jam tours up there. Um, you know, I mean, the uh, uh, consultant um, company that we help people to come back and stuff. So. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We have a WhatsApp full of people who are coming in. And, you know, if you guys want to meet up with Jamaicans, we have the Jamaican restaurant in uh, Westlands, Brookside, <coughs> BW Business Park. Yeah. Just punch it in your map, Jamrock Restaurant, and you can pull up. You'll find us there on the weekends. Or, you know what I mean? You just tell the people them that word, they want to speak with Jam Tours. They will call me and we'll forward. Yeah, so, man. Yeah. And as you know, I'm here. I'm building the community brick by brick. One Love Africa, Chef Recall, which is me. I'm building the community mm -hmm. for all the Jamaicans and dias a diaspora overall. But for the Jamaican community I'm working on, see, a lot of people from America, England, Canada, these places that mix with the Jamaican yardies. Mm -hmm. And when they come out of Kenya, <coughs> they want to connect with we because they use that culture. Yeah. Yeah, so we are Jamrock, as I said, GW Business Park, mm -hmm. Jamrock, and, um, Jamrock Restaurant and Grill, that's the oh. name for it. And I have a WhatsApp group. With the yardism mm -hmm. that we put all the Jamaicans in. So, yeah, before we know, we, we, we're going to give us that towards the end. But I yeah. want to know, like, what approximately, what's the population, what's the number of Jamaicans or Caribbean people I'll be, that I'll you know in say, Kenya? I'll say maybe roughly 500 Caribbean people. Uh, we have a Caribbean brunch party family on the 21st of December over there in Karen at Eden Gardens. Mm -hmm. So make sure you come <clears> out, family. It's going to be a blast. The last one was in Tigoni. Mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, it, a lot of Caribbean people was there. Yeah, a lot of Caribbean yeah, a lot people of Caribbean was Caribbean there. I was shocked. Uh -huh. Yeah, and as you yeah. guys know, guys, um, it was a nice event. It reminded me of keeping events in Jamaica. Yeah, man, remember Jamaican um, so event. But this, 
uh, December 21st, Eden Gardens over there in Karen, mm -hmm. Caribbean Brunch, second edition. G Money, it's going to be a blast. Okay. And oh, talk about events. Let me just oh. see this first. Okay. This, this, this December coming up, Chef Ricardo, Wallaway has one. We're going to do our Christmas dinner party here in Nairobi, in Westland, at Jamrock. Christmas dinner party, so you guys are buying the tickets and to be a part of it. We have Jamaican Sorrel. Mm -hmm. Still alive, okay. it's okay. I see, I see. <laughs> we have, <laughs> have some jerk chicken, we have some mac and cheese, mm -hmm. we have um, oxtail, we have curry goat, we have some fish fingers, we have a whole heap of stuff. I'm putting, I'm putting on this one Christmas dinner party. Mm -hmm. Come buy a ticket and be a part of the Jamaican Christmas dinner. So if you're here without family or you're far away from your family, but your diaspora, your Jamaican, you can pull up at the event. We have a good DJ, the vibes are going to be nice. We have Jamaica Sorrel, Jamaica Rum. Um, the rum punch, the cake. Ray and the nephew. Cake. You know, Ray and nephew kick over the bomb <laughs> buckler. And we have the cake, the Jamaica rum cake. So come out, all our vibes. Uh huh. You see it. <laughs> okay. Um, now let's talk about some little uh, personal uh, reflections. Has relocating to Kenya changed your perspective in life? Yeah, so much. Um, you know, I always want a traditional life, mm -hmm. and I feel like Kenya gives me a traditional life. Uh, <clears throat> I feel happy um, now that I have my family and everything is going the way I want. I'm just mm -hmm. planning things to grow them the right way. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just do something new. I want to send them to Chinese mm -hmm. school. Um, Chinese school? Yeah, that's, mm. that's, that's, that's my thing. Uh, I, I heard that they have some here in Nairobi. So if you guys know any Chinese school, just comment. And, you know, uh, I want to, like, you know, scout out and see what is happening and plan. And I want to send them off to China to study and come back to Africa, come build it up. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, man, yeah man. that's my ultimate plan and goal and as i say as you know guys i like to plan ahead and think about the future and think about going forward and how yeah. we can actually you know i mean make an impact chef ricardo has yeah, uh your perspective uh on life changed here no like having moved to kenya yeah since i'm here i've been moving i've been moving to africa yeah yeah i do like in a small sense, I see life different mm -hmm. because when I was back in Jamaica, which is back in the West, we all think that yo, we are going to the first world and yeah, make yeah. some money and <laughs> yeah, you know what, Shama got US embassy and get turned down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah, we got the, so, so yeah. the first world, make some money, come back and invest in the country. Mm -hmm. You know, make sure sir, kids them get a better education, mm -hmm. make sure they can get an opportunity, set foundation, lay the bread brick by brick, as I said. I'm, I'm about building and bringing people together. That's mm -hmm. me overall. And really and truly, Jamaican Kenya, as I said, is like the same. And yeah. I keep on saying it. We have so much in similarity. Mm -hmm. We like have a connection with Africa. So whatever happened in Jamaica is the same in Africa. No difference. So even if you're there here, you mm -hmm. still want to make sure you go make that money and invest it back in the country. Okay. So having, having kids and a wife, a nice wife, yeah, I'm not married. <laughs> you see, for those who want to know. We never want a relationship thing out there, but we're not married. He can yeah. help you. He can help you create a 10 pointer. No, I mean, I want to create, create my own. In a, yeah. me have, me have, yo, we have my perspective or idea of a, of a good woman. You know. But the thing is, you have to learn that you can't just create something and give to a lady and things that she can match because she might like you and say yes. And then you start moving with the flow and realize that a girl is not it. I like to feel the person mm -hmm. one on one. We are chat on the phone or. We are text or we are see each of them face to face. We are going on dates. Me can see your weak point mm -hmm. and I can see your strong point. You can learn about my weak point and you learn about my strong point. Because the two we have to balance. Mm -hmm. You have to be weak in something that I can take over and I'm weak in something that you can take over. You understand? So I like to feel out, feel out my person or anyone that I'm dating to see what they're like, their character is like, their personality is like. Because personality have a lot to do with it. I'm just meeting you so I don't know who you really are. I got to feel it out. It takes time before you can get there. And then I say, okay, then the woman I can be my wife. Because any day I don't want a miserable woman. Yeah. I don't want a woman who wants to kill me either. Yeah. And I don't want someone who will love me for the money and disappear. So I just want to know who you really are. You understand? Put you through some tests. Mm -hmm. Just the same way as women test us. Uh, we go through tests daily mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. Everybody. Women test man. <laughs> Everybody. Yeah, man. Okay, okay. So. We are almost finishing. I know this is a very long video, but we, I had so many questions, so that's why. So what do you think Jamaicans can learn from Kenyans and vice versa? Hmm. Right, for me, 
um, you know, for Jamaicans, they can learn a lot. Uh, when it comes, you know, Kenya is a big place, and there's a lot of things, a lot of business ideas. <coughs> Even the drug fund business there, guys, is a Jamaican thing. You bring it here, you know what I mean? Um, what I would bring in Jamaica if I was to go back with a lot of money, yeah, I'd maybe build more apartments for like low income people who want yes. to actually uh, rent place because you know, finding <laughs> place in Jamaica that's another culture shock family. I'm surprised that I can step out right just now and look at place, mm -hmm. pay my Always rent, there. and move in same time yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. In Jamaica, you can't do that, it takes you like weeks and months. If you don't have somebody so, reliable, you can set I mean? you up like an agent, you take so it's crazy, life. man. And you know, so that's how it is, family. Um, you know. For my, for, that's what I would do if I was to actually return to Jamaica. I'll uh, maybe build some low income apartments, just like the one that you see that the locals are building. Okay. Stuff. Yeah. What about that's you? A... What can Kenyans learn from Jamaica and what can Jamaicans learn from Kenyans? What Jamaica can learn from Kenya yeah. is that try to be more peaceful and loving with each other. Mm -hmm. Try to unite more. You understand? The fight is real and the struggle is real for everyone. Yeah. But bring more peace and harmony to your people. Mm -hmm. Because Jamaican people are nice people, you know. And if you're a stranger, you go to Jamaica, even if the, where the depths and the gutter is and the war is going on, they're not going to harm you. They're going to look out for you. They know who they're looking for. Like, if a man a man a fight, they know who they're looking for. So, Jamaicans, me hard virgin them, mother and papa and sister and brothers. And they can't just be peace and love, cut out the crime and the war and the violence. If a man step, if a man step on your toe, Mm -hmm. Do not um, try to fight him. Do not try to start an argument, flash ratchet car, chuck in the chest. Mm -hmm. Be more loving, even the music. Because we all love youngster music and slap music because it's a part of the culture. Yeah. yeah even me, me do it. Me, me come like I do one. I'm vibe scout and I'm busy. Mm -hmm. I'm like those artists. <laughs> so we do culture music and dance music, but we still have to um, preach peace and unity. Mm -hmm. Is it? What can um, Kenya learn from Jamaica? <clears throat> Apart from food. Oh, I was just going to say that. You know, you know. All right, I was just going to say that. Was, but shout out to Kenya still, because we eat the food and Kenyans can't cook. Because I go to other places and they can't cook. As I said, every day someone asks me, what the cook food is like? Kenyans mm -hmm. can't cook, so I mean, I bash the food. Mm -hmm. You understand? The food is article and we like that. Yeah. But apart from food, what they can learn from yeah. Jamaicans. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I'm not even know if tell you know. Because I think Kenyan already learned everything from Jamaica. Because as I said, I fit in. When I come to Kenya, it's like I'm in Jamaica. Okay. Big man thing. Everything, them already. All the, the promoters, them who is doing events over here, I'm not going to talk for the, the artists them in Jamaica. Really want to put this out. <coughs> Kenyan promoters, them are too lazy. I tell you the truth, they're very lazy. You do not know how to promote artists. You do not know how to promote an uh, event. You do not know how to pro promote um, music. Every time you book an artist, with a name, they just put it up in social media, Nairobi gossip. Mm -hmm. And like one week, two weeks, that's it. And then the, other, the third week is the show. Yeah. You got to take time. You book an artist, they take time and promote. So when the artist mm -hmm. come, if the place flop, do not blame the artist. Mm -hmm. Blame the promotion team. When you're too lazy, you need to do better. Okay. And for the Jamaican artists them now, <clears throat> dance all artists in Jamaica, you need to do better on the pricing. When someone from Africa try to book you, you try to charge them millions of millions of millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. This is Mama Africa. What are you doing? Bob Marley said, when Bob Marley was coming to Africa, Bob Marley said, I don't need no money. I don't need no payment. Just, find, just give me bonds. As long as you can pay my band, band members, some cash, that's it. Mm -hmm. I don't need no payment as a main artist. And none of the artists in Jamaica is not bigger than Bob Marley. Mm -hmm. And if he can do that and you guys are living, no. Riding off of Bob Marley legacy, mm -hmm. all of you dance hall artists I'm talking about, and reggae artists. Mm -hmm. When someone from Africa reach out to book you for a show, stop charging this bag of money. You want 10 airplane tickets for you and, and Entourage. Mm -hmm. I'm booking you and you want ticket, first class ticket for Entourage. From Jamaica to here is a long flight. I know. Costs a lot of money mm -hmm. and a two way ticket. Mm -hmm. Can you book them to come? You have to book them to go. Yeah. Then you have to find a hotel for them and they want any some big bottles. And more free ticket for uh, you're not gonna make back no money. Yeah. And you're doing a show for your people. Some of you guys have a large fan base here, mm -hmm. but you're still here charging this massive money. Mm -hmm. Like you're going to America or England. When you're coming to Africa, some of you guys shouldn't even charge. Cause the fans are here. So come and please your fans. Come out and please them. Stop the greedy. Cause you use African names to make what you want. Cause that's what they do. Mm -hmm. Put Africa in song. 
some of the most of the most about Africa never visit Africa. Mm. Yeah, and that's me, so true. Are. That's so true, family. Enough, oh, no. And you guys have the resources and stuff. I don't even want to come here. Rich. Come actually relax and do some show. And you know what I mean? People, them. People, people, show. Them, you know what I mean? No for sure. no. No for talk. I mean, can't call any name, but we not do it now. <sighs> no for only me at talk. I watch you know because I know the promoters and will reach out, reach out to them. So I know the name of these artists and the, the charges charging and the rules and sometimes they pay them the money and they don't even show up. The oh. money go to waste. So okay. careful. So, last three questions. Okay. Do you see yourself staying in Kenya long term? Forever. I think Forever. My, my I think my body yeah. will lay to rest in Kenya. Uh -huh. And as soon as I get my passport, I don't want to go to South Africa. Uh -huh. I want to go to Cape Town. I want to go to the southern part of Africa first before I even go anywhere else. Uh -huh. um, so for, that's, for my, me, that's just my plan. Yeah, man. For me, yeah, I see myself in Kenya for long term. That's why I'm still here. Because if I never for long term, I'm going to leave. I'm going to go other places. There's so many African countries I can be, I can be right now. Mm -hmm. But I choose Kenya. I, I'm not sure about the dying and burying part in Kenya, though. Like, like John you have said. to go back to Jamaica. Yeah, I mean, I'll go back to Jamaica, of course. Um, <laughs> you see, like, Jamaica, so, as I'm saying, I love Africa. Mm -hmm. and Africa is big. I haven't touched Ghana as yet. Yeah. So and, jam tours want to live and die in Africa. So <laughs> if you want to bury in Africa, it's not a bad thing either. Uh -huh. Because it takes us away from Africa, right? Yeah. And brought us to the Caribbean, mm -hmm. which is there already... There are also people in the Caribbean, so I can't even say if I'm an African, but I put myself as an African. Mm -hmm. So I'm an African mm -hmm. living in Jamaica. Because mm -hmm. Jamaica itself is Africa. Yeah. You understand? It's mm -hmm. just like, it's the sixth region of Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, for people who don't know that, Jamaica is the sixth region of Africa. Mm -hmm. um, I see myself living here long term. Yeah. You know, get settled and have my, a place to bring my family. Because mm -hmm. sometimes Jamaica can be crazy. So at least have a retirement home here. Mm -hmm. The dying part and bury, I'm not sure where. You're not sure yet. <laughs> You're not sure You've yet not because yo, yet. we're still young, you know. Not because we're, 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 we might be mid age, but we're still young to go places and uh -huh. check out the world. Yeah. I can't say Kenya is the best mm -hmm. because I haven't checked out other places as yet. Okay. So I would like to go to South Africa. I really want to go to South Africa. That mm -hmm. was on my bucket list. I want to go to West Africa. Mm -hmm. I don't really care about North Africa. Okay. But I will go to West mm -hmm. and South. South. Yeah, okay. man. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's that. That's that. Yeah. Me don't know which part me know. See, mm -hmm. this is not my retire country. I think it's Kenya for me because I really love Kenya. Uh -huh. And if I can get a piece of land to buy, which yeah. is land is easy to get because you know we have the connection. Mm -hmm. You know, we're in Jam Tours Africa. Yeah. We have the rights that people who to go to for anything yeah. you want. Yeah. Anything. So we might we might get a piece of land here. When we have the money, because we are hustling it up, we are go get her and can buy and build something. Yeah, yeah man. Real. Oh, okay. Would you encourage other Jamaicans to move to Kenya? Why or uh, why not? Yeah, family. So <coughs> I'll encourage you to come. You mm -hmm. know, a lot of people who actually have shambles life in the West have a lot of maybe debt, a lot of whatever. It's not working. You know, it's not you know working what I mean? For you. Relationship not working. You can come back to Kenya and jumpstart your life, kickstart your yeah. business. Yes. Uh, we have other Jamaicans here to guide you. And, and, and <coughs> so you're going to feel at home anyway. So there's mm -hmm. nothing to worry about. So... You know, I mean, Kenya is a place, and if you feel like you reach a plateau where you need something to actually take you to the next level, I think mm -hmm. Africa is the next big thing. It's developing. There's so much opportunity here. As an entrepreneur, you come here and you have money. You can do anything you want to do, family. And, okay. Um, you know, you with jump yeah. tours by your side. You can do that. Yes, you can reach out to jump tours or One Love Africa when you come out to information like that, or we get settled and stuff like that. We're here, we work together, same way. And I would encourage Jamaicans to come if they want to come. I'm not telling no one to come. If you want to come here, just like our problem is in Jamaica, problem is in Africa also. You can't, you can't escape from problems. You have to face it. You okay. understand? So you have to face your trouble, whatever it is. But as a jump tour, say, me and him talk about this already. You can't jumpstart your life somewhere else. So maybe the luck, you're in a country and the luck is not there. Yeah. It could be anywhere in the world you are. That's true. Your luck might not be there, but you go somewhere else, that's where you find your luck. That's true. And you can start back over fresh. Mm -hmm. You can't leave from there as a no one, nobody. And when you come here, you are someone, Somebody. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So people are still a star. You know what I mean? I left from a nerd. <laughs> and as a Jamaican, you have an advantage, family. I was just talking about yes. the other day that being a Jamaican is more important than your passport. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were talking about it. Yeah, other because day. you know, you don't you don't get a you can't get a visa to go to the US, but at least No, you can. When you well, when you have to work hard to get a visa. If you can't. But um you know, let's say you come to, you get a chance to go to uh, uh, America, no, you get a visa. Now, being a Jamaican, there are people like give you a, a head start. People like, you know, look mm. out for you and stuff. Mm. So, yeah, you know what I mean? Being a Jamaican, outside of Jamaica, you're very celebrated. And for who don't travel yet, mm -hmm. 
Just, just make a trip. Just make a trip. It's cheaper here. So mm -hmm. you get a fresh start in life. If you have like 10,000 US or 20,000 US, and you see you just want a fresh start in life, you don't have much money, that can give you a start here. Okay. You can come and you can start your life over again. And if you are a bad person or you want to be a better person, or if stuff, stuff, stuff not going good for you, you can come here and be a better man. If you don't have a wife, as a jump to say, you can come I here and start in. your life. Yeah. If you can't get no woman pregnant over there, <laughs> you surely get some pregnant over here. Yeah, because very, very, very fertile. <laughs> very fertile. Yeah, so one joke, pick the comment. Okay, so the last question, we're going to end up with this. Yeah. Are there any specific goals that you want to achieve while living in Kenya? Well, yeah, for man. me, well, I'm a six bedroom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, well, that's the most important thing right now, a nice. Okay. A nice house and a few more kids and um, you know a few more business uh -huh. and just create a community um, that mm -hmm. um, we feel comfortable mm -hmm. uh, here. When we're there, we just feel at home. So mm -hmm. yeah, for me, I want a five bedroom apartment, five bedroom house. Yeah, I want a standalone. Mm -hmm. I don't want to live in no apartment. You can't raise a family in an apartment. Mm -hmm. It's the apartment if you Airbnb or move around or jump for a night or rent. Yeah, I want a home with a garden mm -hmm. you can plant my herbs i know i like to plant my peppers and stuff like that mm -hmm. um i need to accomplish a family mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. could, I mean, I ask me have more 10 kids like jump tours <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's a family and i actually want to, to we're building the community brick by brick as i said mm -hmm. so i would like to know if i can get a one acre to a one and a half acre land mm -hmm. so for those who are watching this if you want to invest the good idea is get an acre of land or acre and half a land and you can build your own complex. Mm -hmm. So if you buy a one acre to two acre land, you can build your own apartment complex. Yeah. Um, standalone flat mm -hmm. in the place. You don't have to be attached. You yeah. can be like standalone. Yeah. So yeah, one acre land or acre and a half or two can do that. Yeah, that's So great. one person or two person can come together and do that. And I have like 10 more other people I know we come together to buy the material. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want us to come together and build a community, we can build our own estate. A black owned estate smart home right here in kenya so yeah man that will be a good goal and that is my goal but my goal is a five bedroom house with two cars and my family oh, yeah right. my goal is yeah. to have a land out there in a new key so we're working on that <laughs> yeah man uh, and that's the thing jam tour is very intentional and there's things i like mm -hmm. i just you know so yeah <laughs> yeah, right. we're i want to get closer to the mountain anyways <laughs> all right yeah. so how can someone reach you all right they can reach out to me from one love africa and my YouTube channel, a lot of people might know me, a lot might not know me. One Love Africa, my YouTube channel. Also, you can reach out to me on my Instagram as One Love Africa again. And the one is number one. It's not O-N-E. It's number one, L-O-V-E, Love Africa. YouTube and Instagram. And my also, I have a next Instagram page. I do my cooking, Chef Ricardo underscore cooking. Chef Ricardo, R-I-C-A-R-D-O underscore cooking. Mm -hmm. And you can find me. If you find me at one, you find me everywhere else. All right. Yes. All right, family. So as you guys know, this is Jam Tours Africa. You know, Jam Tours Africa website dot com. Jam Tours Africa dot com. That's where you get all of the, you know, what I mean, the connection to Kenya. Everything mm -hmm. is there, family. From bank account, mm -hmm. uh, immigration services. You want a car to rent. Um, you know what I mean? Airport we have a lot up. of airport pickup. Uh, you want to get in, you want to get into the business um, of Jamaican food or other any 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 other this business, mm -hmm. um, Jam Tours can connect you and uh, be a support system. And oh. you guys, if you guys yeah, need yes. to actually, you know what I mean, top up your health, you can you know visit my my website veganchoicefoods.com. Mm -hmm. That's what I've been building from Jamaica, and that's what take me here, family. So, healthy products. You know what I mean? Food, so you life. can actually do that on Instagram, Jam Tours Africa. It's you can up. find me on Instagram. So. We are out. One love, Ja bless, Jamaica. Boom. I'm out. <laughs> all right, all right. So thank you so thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you truly enjoyed it and you learned something new. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you have any questions, you can as well put them in the comment section below. And I'm very sure they will answer. So thank you so much. Make sure you hit the like button, share, and subscribe. And I'll definitely see you on the next episode. Until then, bye-bye. One love. One love. <laughs> Book one love. Let's get together. We're going to feel all right. <laughs> all right. So